Yes, people, welcome back to part two of the NAC Road to London Finals 2024. Kicking things off, we've got the veteran Connor Daly, club captain for Islington Boxing Club against Scott Stannard. You're going to want to stay tuned right to the end because there's some brilliant boxing in store today. So, Scott Stannard, in his last fight against Louis Goodman in the intermediate finals, he got disqualified for holding. They both had a couple of points taken off, um, but Scott was unfortunate enough to get that third point deducted and the disqualification. This bat was a lot cleaner, although there were still those tendencies to hold when things come a bit closer. But having said that, didn't really get too many warnings or a point deducted or anything so a big improvement there um, Connor I'm a big fan of Connor relentless pressure he is an absolute savage in there and I was talking about Dylan okay being relentless with the pressure and the fitness and people not being able to keep up with him but Connor is not that different when it comes to the fitness and the pressure boxing uh, he, he really sticks it on you and he keeps sticking it on you as well. I'm not sure how many bouts Connor's had, but it might be well over 70. And he showed his vast experience in this bout, cruised to a decision win. And he goes on to meet another Connor in the final, Connor Mitchell, of course. Definitely want to hang around to his bout in this episode because what a cracker that was. Moving swiftly on, Bianca Haynes from St Pancras Boxing Club in the white vest, v Zoe Hefford from London Community Boxing. Bianca, of course, is an England boxing judge as well, so it's good to see her in the ring for a change. One thing that's notable with Bianca is that she's got a very good high guard. So, of course, any of the punches that land on the gloves, they don't score. Even if you were to half parry a shot and then it was to make its way to land on your face or your body, that shot still wouldn't count as a scoring shot. So I was really impressed with uh, Bianco. She, she, really, um, she really boxed well. Zoe was coming in with those body shots, but really after round one in rounds two and three, Bianca really started to run away with it. One thing I was really surprised about was how soon before the bout Zoe was actually warming up because the bout started about, I think the first bout, this was the first bout, started at 12.30 and I'm sure like before 11 o'clock Zoe was already skipping. So I don't know if she got the timing slightly wrong there, what, what was going on because initially the boxing was supposed to start at 12 o'clock whether or not that had um, anything to do with the energy levels because like I said in rounds two and three Zoe really did start to slow down so Bianca moves on to the final in the 60 kg category okay next up Amo Singh and Mitchell Asari the last two times these guys have met Amo Singh has been disqualified for holding perhaps a little bit unfortunate so I personally hope these guys never fight again but I was just holding my breath thinking please Amo don't get disqualified we just want a winner this time Mitchell has been out for 14 months with a back injury in 2022 he won the Londons he went on to the nationals and he lost the final to Louis O'Doherty who's now professional and just won the uh, Southern Area title actually, he beat uh, Marley Mason. Amo Singh last year got to the London finals and lost a split to Giorgio Vassioli, who's also turned professional. But back to this fight, rounds two and three just started to get really scrappy again. With Mitchell, if you've seen him in, in sparring, if you've seen him in training, he looks world class. But I don't know why, in the bouts, you know, once he's closed the range as the shorter boxer, he just keeps on coming forward. I personally don't see how that's beneficial because once you're leaning on your opponent, 
you're not going to score any shots and also you're smothering your own work. Mitchell I thought was quite fortunate to get that win against uh, Hamza Hadji in the quarter final as well. Amo Singh looked more comfortable. He beat the boy from Dagenham, Max Shorts. That was a comfortable win. However, in the last round, he, he kind of switched off a little bit and let the boy come back in. So uh, he's got to make sure he doesn't do that in the final. So a win for Amo Singh. He goes on to fight the boy from West Ham, Freddie Marshall, who has a lot less experience, but we'll get on to Freddie in a bit. Okay, moving on. Doesn't need any introductions. Connor Mitchell from West Ham fighting Marley Watts from Ellsfield. The last time I saw Connor Mitchell, he fought and beat Scott Stannard in the NABGC finals. Of course, Scott Stannard had beaten Connor in the Harringay Box Cup final 2022. That was when Scott was fighting for Sudbury ABC. But the first year as a senior for both of them and Connor looks absolute class the head movement constantly looking to do damage and he's looking absolute class not to say he's never looked good before but as a senior now I think he's definitely a force to be reckoned with of course Connor goes on to fight the other Connor Daly who's vastly more experienced but how do you guys see that one you know it's a difficult one to call because it's the really, really experienced veteran against the newcomer. Based on this performance, you have to kind of fancy Connor, you know, he looked really strong. Um, I say you have to fancy Connor, I'm not sitting on the fence there. I'm talking about Connor Mitchell. He, he looks really impressive in this bout. It, it's a really difficult one to call, but you know, if you're trying to predict a fight based on last performances, then I think you've got to go Mitchell. He, he looks really strong, but you know, it, it's going to be a tough one. I'm really, really looking forward to it. Let's enjoy the rest of this fight. So round two, and this one was really heating up. Marley Watts wasn't backing off, he, he was still in there. But unfortunately, I'm not sure if it was a, if it was a clash of heads or whether it was from a punch, but um, Marley got quite a nasty cut and it had to go to the judges' scorecards. Conor Mitchell taking the win. Okay, and we've got Freddie Marshall from West Ham fighting Ayub Mari. Uh, not seen Ayub before, fighting out of Repton, but I believe this might be his first bout uh, under England boxing. From what I hear, he's got a lot of experience. I can't remember quite how many, but quite possibly over 30. This was Freddie's 19th bout. So, Ayub getting his feet mixed up there. Th there was quite a few things he was doing that I didn't really fancy myself. He looks quite experienced, switching a little bit too often, doing things that made him look quite slick, but at other times just unnecessarily complicating it and looking quite novice in the process. So, for me personally, not a fan of this style of boxing. Uh, they're getting tagged and Freddie just showing like, you know, do the basics, do the basics well, and just stuck it on him. Came away with the win, and on paper, you would have given it to a youth because I think he's had a lot more bounce. You can see there, like, you know, the, the way he swings the arm backwards, like with a backhand, quite a novice thing to do. Just um, quite a uh, confused style, if we could put it that way, with all due respect. Uh, but Freddie boxed really well, did what he does best. He goes on to fight Amo Singh. Amo, a lot more experienced. You'd have to give it to Amo as the favourite 
in the final based on the experience and how many bouts he's had. But Freddie, you know, he, he's fought really well. And with 19 bouts, he is in a London final and he's going to give it absolutely everything. So that's another one I'm really looking forward to. Again, we've just got over the uh, 10 minute mark. So we're going to have to wrap that one up. But there will be the final road to the NAC finals dropping quite possibly tomorrow. So make sure you stay tuned for that one because it's got the big one in there with Dylan OK. We've got Jay Johnson on that one. We've got the two boys from Dell Youth, Aaron and Denzil. We've got quite a lot to look forward to. So make sure you stay tuned in and thanks for watching. Please get in the comments. Let me know what you guys think uh, with your predictions for the finals.